What is your favorite reality show? Do, do nature things count as reality shows? You're thinking like Planet Earth? Yeah. I don't think Planet Earth would count as a reality show. I think that's like a docu kind of educational television. Okay, so educational television's out. I think so. I don't know. I think I think it's very different than like reality show. Okay. I like the small house shows. Oh, Tiny House Hunters? A- any of them. Any of them. <laughs> the house is too small. It's so tiny. I didn't know this is what I was getting myself into. Oh my gosh, those shows make me so frustrated. I know. It's really <laughs> funny. Um, well, you know mine. You, kn- you, you know mine. Project Runway. But specifically Project Runway Season 2. Because that season is just so amazing. Like, the group of people just melded in this way. And just the singing. It's just like... Like... Lighten up, it's just fashion, it's yeah. fashion. Lighten up, it's just fashion. There, Tim Gunn, Tim Gunn, if he calls your name, you're done. What happened to Andre? So you want to get through more than one question, right? <laughs> yes, okay, we'll keep going. What is your favorite drama? Firefly, I think that's considered a drama. I mean, it's a science fiction, you know, space cowboys thing, but I think it's mm. also con- could be considered a drama. It's like... It's not a comedy. I mean, maybe it's a dramedy. When I think of a drama, I think of something that's contemporary, okay. usually, or or historical, and kind of has like the trappings of a drama. You historical. know, historical. So, um, the revolutionary show that we hate. No. What is that called? Turn doesn't. Turn. Turn. Turn, turn doesn't deserve a drama because it's too stupid. <laughs> it doesn't. De- it doesn't deserve. Turn. A, turn's pretty dumb. Yeah, uh, turn. But Hamilton's supposed to be in season three. Well, we'll never cut? know. Cause, cause we quit. We quit. You turn. What is your favorite comedy? I know what my favorite comedy is. I know what your favorite comedy it's is. Parks and Rec. Yeah. It's my favorite comedy as well. It's Parks and Recreation. It is the best show. It's a show about people who really care about each other. They all have different, but defined goals and codes of ethics and and they live by they live by their their moral codes and they live to service the community and and to serve each other and i think that that's something that's that kind of earnestness and a commitment to seeing the good in people i think that that's it's kind of got like a it's fertile ground for comedy and it's not exploited very often it's not explored very often in tv what was your favorite show as a child I have three, and I'm going to say them real quickly. Mm-hmm. So when I was a real little kid, it was Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. First half of elementary school, Power Rangers. Second half of elementary school, Space Cases, which was a Nickelodeon show that was kind of like Star Trek Voyager, but for kids. Favorite show as a kid. Sesame Street? Because that's like close second to uh, Mr. Rogers for the early years. Yeah, I dug Sesame Street. Captain Planet shaping. Yeah, I think Captain shaping Planet might have affected me, like my DNA. Yeah. Might have put me on a path. Still waiting for my ring. Guy. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> um, I prefer water, but we'll take earth. I'm heart. <laughs> and I'm a Hufflepuff. <laughs> and I'm a Hufflepuff. I'm a Gryffin Puff. Oh, okay. So what is your favorite oldie? My favorite oldie? Does Boy Meets World count as an oldie? Sure. Oh, cool. Easy. Done. Um... Cheers. I do like watching Cheers. I like Cheers. Cheers is fun. Um, do you ever watch Wings? I do like Wings. I like Wings because it, it has two brothers in it. And yeah. They kind of remind me of me and Eric. Yeah. That's good. A show you just can't stand. That's like a lot. Because it's them. still in my mind. Oh. Turn. Oh. <laughs> You're on notice. What's your favorite cartoon? Definitely Futurama. Oh, Futurama. Yeah. That is your answer. I totally could have guessed that if I thought about it for a second. Mm Mm-hmm. Steven Universe. So surprising. What do you mean? I'm just playing it up for the camera. (laughs) Okay. Guilty pleasure. Okay. So. My guilty pleasure show is the guilty pleasure show to end all guilty pleasure shows. It is the definition of a problematic fave, and that is Supernatural. There's so many things. I want to punch the show in the face. 
Uh... We're currently walking to a women's march, but uh, Jim had a new idea for guilty pleasure. Yeah, I, question. I, we were talking about it after we filmed, and I do have a guilty pleasure. And Game of Thrones is definitely my guilty pleasure because I, I watch it, but it's in, like it's embarrassing how bad that show is sometimes. <laughs> and um, sometimes, and ha sometimes how uh, exploitative it is. There's, it's one thing to have as part of your world you know, a violent and cruel society and to have your story take place in that and to reflect on it. It's another thing to use that as kind of a, a, a tool to get eyeballs, you know, with the, the sexuality and the violence. Like, yeah. Like, there's parts where it's gratuitous and I don't think it serves the story and that's when I think the show is being terrible and frankly embarrassing. I think I don't know. You can be critical of the media you consume, and you should be. So. Yeah. Favorite anime? Sailor Moon. Uh, Legend of Korra, season three. Is that an anime? Would sure. you Would you consider that an anime? Because yeah. Answer it, Answer yes. Is an anime Japanese animation specifically? Oh my gosh, Jenny! There's so many people on the internet who argue about this all the time. Let's just Let's just say it is. Who cares? Okay. Favorite TV show quote. The plastic tips at the end of shoelaces are called aglets. Their true purpose is sinister. Is that the question? Yeah, that is the question you said I just that. thought it was really funny. I have a good quote from, from not Justice League Unlimited, but Justice League. Okay. When the episode where Aquaman shows up and Green Lantern says, I knew we shouldn't have trust that fish man. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fish man, man. The TV quote I probably say the most often is from Fly of the Concords, and it's, I'm a man, man. I'm a man, man. Well, I'm not exactly quaking in my stylish yet affordable boots, but this definitely is something unnatural, and that usually doesn't lead to hugs and puppies. Favorite leading character? I don't... We had this debate, or we kind of had a dis... We've kind of had this running discussion when we were watching Mozart in the Jungle <gasps> that, that Haley... Rutledge and Rodrigo are kind of co-main characters. Yeah, I. The, the, it wasn't an argument; it was an agreement. Yeah, it, they're definitely both the main character of their own story. Yet it's a show that shows both their stories. Yeah, yeah. well, and it's like an ensemble, so you get a lot of stories within that world. But it, it right. kind of at kind of the top of the bill, the people you spend the most time with are those two characters. I like Haley so, so much. Yeah, I, li I like Haley and Rodrigo a lot. Their, yeah, their dynamic is very interesting. It's very, it's like unlike anything I've seen in a show before. Um, Cause they're kind of like, they like each other, but like, it's like, it's so, it's so nuanced. Like the whole way that their relationship works. And then that's really interesting to watch developing and change. All time favorite show. I think it might be Star Trek Deep Space Nine. <gasps> oh, that's such a good answer. Yeah. <sighs> Star Trek Deep Space Nine is, like, amazing storytelling mm -hmm. and, like, character development. I love Buffy so much. I don't know. It's not perfect. You know, there's some problematic things in that show as well, especially, you know, with her relationship with Spike in that one season. But I don't know. I just, I love the way that that sort of fantasy uh, universe works and the way that, like, certain stereotypes are broken among, like, the main characters and... Oh, this is just so good. You want to hug for the camera? It's not for the camera. It's for me. Okay. That's mm. good. I love you. I love you too. Have a kiss. <laughs> Thanks for being in my video. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs> That's my husband, everyone. Such a trooper. Wow.